Okay, we're going to have a look at layer styles and uh, overlays. So what you need is you'll need a portrait picture if that's what you're going to use, and you'll need something else um, that you'll use as part of the overlay. So first off, it's the portrait that we're going to put the overlay on. Now I just did, just went up to the image itself, double clicked on it, and I get layer style panel will come up and then you'll have these different overlay options that we're going to be focusing on here which are color overlay, gradient overlay and pattern overlay. So color overlay is quite straightforward. It'll use the color that you've got selected and um, you'll be able to basically put that color on top of the image. We'll come back to that one. Gradient overlay is similar in that um, it, it puts a block over the top of the image but you can have a gradient and where you get the most power is when you can load in these different uh, gradients here so we'll have a look at the different ones that you can load in Look, so you can get these different gradients that are pre-done I quite like this one here just a bit more subtle so there's the gradient. Now at the moment obviously the portrait has completely disappeared but if I use the blending mode which I think we'll be used to you can start to see that you can get quite a nice look. You can play around you can play around with it to your heart's content, to your happy with how it looks. Obviously you can mess around with the different blending modes so I would try each one in turn just to get a feel for the different blending modes and you'll get to use to the ones that you like. So that's the gradient overlay so I'm going to cancel that I'm going to go back into layer styles and I'm going to show you the pattern overlay. Now the pattern overlay so we're clicking on this section here that where the word is to look at the patterns I have available and this is where your image is going to come in. So I'm going to use this here and I'm going to create that as my pattern. To turn that into pattern, I say edit define pattern. Now that's my pattern. I'm going to come back to here, go into my layer styles panel, pattern overlay and if I click on here there's the image I've just created as a pattern. Now you can then mess around with the placement of that image. So I've created, it's quite similar to the gradient, but I'm in charge now. This is one that I've taken in a dark room with a slow shutter speed. So I'm just going to play until I'm really happy with the placement of this. So I kind of want it like that. Okay, so now I can then use the blending options again to put this overlay on. You can do this with as many as you want. So you could have different images that you layer up first. So quite like that, just having it as the overlay like that. So if I'm happy with that, then I'd hit OK and I'd keep it. And there it is on there, look. So I can turn it on and off. So that's that. And I'll just go back to the color overlay. So I'm just going to go back by pressing Command Alt Z. Going back a few set stages till I'm happy, and then I'm going to do this color overlay. And I can select the color here, and it's very similar to the last one. So you can have a play with that with all of the different blending modes available to you. So it's sim similar, you've got the, the block colour, you've got the gradient, and you've got the pattern. And you can make the pattern yourself, and that's the difference, that you can create the pattern from your own work. Okay, have fun.